Hello everyone, we are in the lesson number 6 and this lesson number 6 is relating to the UPSC PLIMS 2016 question paper of science and technology. As I discussed with you guys earlier in the 5 lesson, like what about the approach of UPSC, even what about the demand of UPSC and accordingly you must have to proceed your whole entire preparations. The reason I told you guys in the PLIMS examination have no syllabus. Even the name of subject only mentioned, but what inside the subject it is not defined. And this is the main hurdle in the UPSC prelims preparations. And here, this is the reason I brought five years question paper analysis with all of you. As you know very well, guys, this five lessons earlier, before this lesson, I discussed with you about the how to prepare, what to prepare in the science and tech. The first lesson, the second lesson, 2020 20 prelims question paper discussion, 2019 prelims question paper discussion, 18 17. And now here, the fifth. Again, the question paper discussion. So like now a uh, total five paper discussion will complete after the completion of this lesson guys. Lesson number six. So let us start guys in this lesson. Before going to start, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Dr. Ravi Agrahi. I've done my PhD from IIT Delhi. I'm working as a director of Purvanchal IS at Gorapur for face to face classes. I'm taking your classes of science and environment from last 18 years. I have done civil services, uh, even uh, classes, uh, many institutions and all. And thousand plus selection already happened. Uh, two classes I take, even two books I mentioned, uh, even published on the McGraw Hill. The one is on science and tech, and second is on environment. So my Telegram channel you can see on the screen, guys. Where all the entire PDF of my lessons are available. A part of PDF, guys, all the video link I also share here. Okay, those all the videos I am I'm going to make here, even the live sessions I am taking. A part of the, the current updates. So all for all purposes, a single solution for all of you connect with me on telegram my unacademy profile where my all the live sessions uh, a part of live session like uh, my plus classes iconic subscriptions this is available here and a part of those guys the special classes special classes also available here that is free of cost for all of you so you all guys follow me here on this platform uh, my code is a ravi upsc so during joining any courses if you are using the ravi upsc course so you will get extra 10 percent discount in your entire fee structure so it's a best educator of UPSC, CSE. They are all available on the live session of an academy. So it's a great opportunity for all of you guys to connect with all the highly experienced faculties to spend their own many, many years with all of you. Okay, so my all the classes even also available here that you can see. So an academy civil service and championship is a scholarship test that is going to held on 27 March. So don't miss this guys. Somehow it is fun with your preparations. So an academy light for the prelims on a studies and seaside test series for 2020-22 and 2020-23 prelims. Six months and the year subscriptions are available. Don't miss to join us guys. The one part that I'm telling you here in this case that is very very important. 50,000 plus enrollment happened first time in the Indian history that any of the test series that people are going to give and 50,000 plus enrollment already done in the last one month. So don't miss this opportunity. This is the question paper of UPSC prelims 2016. So let us start the first question that UPSC made here that is a biotechnology based questions. In the context of development in bioinformatics, the term transcriptome sometimes seen in the news refers to. Actually transcriptome is related to bioinformatics based data which is connecting with all the transcription based process. All the transcription based process. Actually transcription and post transcription are the processor where a DNA is used for the formation of RNA. And RNA is the different types of RNA, ribosomal RNA, messenger RNA and transfer RNA. So transcriptomes is the information of all the genomic sequences or genetic information. Okay, those are responsible for this type of synthesis from DNA to RNA type. So the question is coming here, a range of enzyme used in genome editing. The full range of messenger RNA molecules expressed by any organism. So messenger RNA is here. So definitely the full range of messenger RNA molecule expressed by an organisms. The whole entire information available in the bioinformatics. You know what is bioinformatics? It is a place guys where all the biochemistry, biotechnology, microbiology, all the informations of the research and data are available here into, in, in, in some computer moldings and all. Okay, so if anybody want any kind, just like if you want to access a human genome project data, so it is available here guys. So regarding all the informations of the experiments and everything, it is all the various subject discipline those I told you guys available here. So second question is based on health and disease. Mission Indrathanush launched by the government of India pertains to very simple questions and direct questions. And see the purpose you people know very well. Purpose for immunization of children and the pregnant women. I always spoken you guys the health and disease with immunization program that is very very important. 
okay before this lesson uh, in 2017 you have seen national nutrition mission upsc as here upsc as mission indradhanush so what you got it just like ayushman bharat is running now so i'm just telling you guys indradhanush 2.0 and the thanus 3.0 some new diseases and something more advancement government is going to give under it and these all the programs are still very very important part of diseases so the answer is immunization of children and pregnant women it is right very direct questions okay very easiest questions project loon seems uh, sometime uh, seen in the news is related to actually it was a current updates of 2016 it was a question of current affairs based here i'll tell you even in 2016 few questions that you psc made it is a current affairs based you know google x company google x company in 2016 has done some trial with the help of a balloon with the help of balloon some transponder they send up to the stratosphere stratosphere means around up to the height of i'm telling you 20 km and on this balloon guys they put some of the transponders there and through the help of transponder they when providing the information communication technology services to the remote areas up through the help of balloon here the system not work through the help of satellites Through the help of balloon from the air surface up to 20 km height, those balloon was in the stratospheric region. It was used to provide information, communication, technology access in the remote areas under the wireless communication technology. So that because balloon was used, so the last four alphabet loon was used in the case of project. Okay, and this is the call as a project loon. And why this kind of uh, this why this kind of uh, you know the experiment happened? Reason guys, suppose in the remote areas you want to provide information, communication, technology access. So now have a possibility you can provide somewhere in the disaster area. Suppose your information communication technology system collapse. So don't worry, just wait some time through the help of some balloon system. We will make again, you know, all the all the wireless technology, communication technology, again in the services in that area. Next question like so wireless communication is option. Next question is like net metering is sometimes seen in the news in the context of promoting this. See, it is again the government initiatives. Government has shown the interest. If suppose somewhere somebody is are wanted to go for the solar energy uh, wind energy type of uh, you know growth and development if anybody want to set up any industry so now you have one more options like net metering type of concepts so net metering is promoting the renewable energy growth sector in india and here government is promoting okay by the household ya consumers anyone anyone you people can go with the solar energy and even one thing more guys whenever you are utilizing solar energy for the power generation you can sell them also okay so these all facilities are the part of net metering Next question, UPSC is from the INS Astridhani. INS Astridhani is also, you know, which one of the following is the best description of INS Astridhani recently in the news? It was a current affairs question of 2016. So this is the another question that UPSC made from the current updates. Okay, the answer is it is a torpedo launch recovery vessels. Torpedo means you know it is used for the underwater missiles. So from this INS guys, people can do the uh, you know the launching of torpedoes. So underwater from one submarine to another submarine, torpedo use. So this is the INS study that uh, was inducted. Okay, in 2016 and it was the news in that period of time. So torpedo launch and the recovery vessels. It was a UPSC questions. Next question, those UPSC as what is a grease lighting? What is what is the grease lighting ten? Recently in the news. Okay, what is the grease lighting ten? Recently in the news. So the grease lighting ten was also UPSC prelims in 2016. It was also the current affairs. Again, I am repeating, guys. In 2016, maximum question was current affairs based. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. In recent five years, 90 percent questions static. But in 2016, around 40 percent questions around it was the current affairs based. So grease lighting GL ten in that year was it was a electric plane. Electric plane totally 100 percent electrical powered. Okay, tested by NASA guys, and that is the reason it was in the news that year. Question number seven. And now the question is biology questions, and it's very simple questions. Which of the following statement correct? Okay, viruses infect to whom? Okay, viruses infect to whom? And the question is bacteria, fungi, and plants. See guys, viruses infect the bacteria. That is the case of bacteriophages. Bacteriophages. So viruses kill bacteria. It is called bacteriophages. fungi it is called mycophages so a lot of the examples are available in our surroundings so definitely viruses also kill the fungi and those viruses kill the fungi the fungi that is called mycophages plant uh, viruses infect the algae also and algae are the plants plants and the algae is called uh, uh, you know algae is uh, algae is or also uh, even also going to infect by the by the plant. even various uh, cauliflower mosaic virus simple cauliflower is a plant And mosaic virus, it's a causing the mosaic type of virus. So somehow you can find out all the three diseases happen because of virus. So all the three people, even organisms, suffer. Question number eight, that is a swayam. And swayam scheme was also the question paper of 2016 current affairs. I I spoke in you guys 
फोर्टी परसेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ सिविल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन फ्रॉम साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वॉज द करेंट अफेयर्स ओके स्वयं स्कीम वॉज इट फुल फॉर्म वॉज स्टडी वे फॉर एक्टिव लर्निंग यंग एस्पायरिंग माइंड इट वॉज इट वॉज अ फुल फॉर्म ऑफ स्वयं स्कीम इट वॉज अ इनिशिएटिव ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ओके एंड द पर्पज वॉज लिटरली गाइज एक्चुअली ऑल द ऑल द आई आई टीज आई एम्स डेली यूनिवर्सिटीज बी एच यू ऑल द प्रोफेसर्स all the professor those classes they are taking there guys okay in the universities and all there all the classes recordings are going to upload on the swayam and all the indian citizens they can get the benefit free of cost so it's a providing affordable and quality education to the citizens of free of cost under the swayam platform and swayam platform is already verified all the youtube platform those are running right now any 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 of the government authority is doing verification and still no guys but swayam is a very fine so that is the reason 100 was incorrect platform more quality based platform is the swayam and that was a upsc questions uh, question number 9 here upsc asked uh, in which of the following region of india the shale gas resources okay where the shale gas are present guys okay uh, kambi basin kaveri basin krishna godavari basin based statement it's a factual questions i'll tell you guys i got to do mopng what is mopng ministry of petroleum and natural gas six locations are identified in india where have a presence of shale gas okay kambi basin is right kaveri basin is right krishna godavari is right a part of a part of other also there guys gondwana region is also one of them gondwana region is also one of them okay even indo gangetic plain is also one of the regions indo gangetic plain is also one of the region okay assam arakan basin is also one of the region assam arakan basin is also a region assam arakan basin so total six locations where the shale gas reserves are reported in india Okay, first one, two, three, four, five, six. But you PS is in these what are the these three one hundred percent right? Total six location rest of the three <coughs> location you can see here. <coughs> Sorry guys. Question number ten. Question number ten. On which of the following can you uh, find the Bureau of Energy Efficiency star rating? You know, whenever you people are using any of the electrical appliances, in electrical appliances have a Bureau of Energy Efficiency star rating. You know, two star, three star, four star, five star. UPSC asks where you we are getting this uh, where you can see the star rating those Bureau of Energy Efficiency providing the ceiling fan ceiling fan have it it is not mentioned on the ceiling fan but on the wrapper those box you are doing you are purchasing is mentioned the geyser you already have seen the star rating is mentioned there and see tubular fluorescence lamp also have it on the box it is also mentioned very very easy guys very 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 easy this much of easy question I have never seen in my uh, life but the rarest of the rare cases you will see this type of question directly UPSC asks. Question number eleven and question number eleven is the repeated questions. This question also came in UPSC two thousand six six prelims and UPSC two thousand eight mains with the name of artificial sun, with the name of artificial sun. Okay, in the mains paper and in two thousand six UPSC is where where we are going to set up the inter reactor. So the answer was South France. A location in the South France was called as a Cadrec. So Cadrec, C A D A R A C H E. Cadrec was the location in the South France. Okay, but UPSC has the option as a South France in 2006. Okay, location UPSC has. So the question of it is, India is an important member of Indonesia thermonuclear experimental reactor. If this experiment succeed, what is the immediate advantage for India? The threat is, I'll tell you, this is right because it is a fusion reactor. Okay, fusion reactor. <coughs> okay, and if if we will we will be successful in the case of fusion reactor, the massive heat or energy is possible. to generate and because of massive heat or energy what is what is the possibility guys power generation is possible ultimately what is the source of power generation this time the source of power generation it's city generation this time is a burning of coal and you all guys know very well whenever the burning of coal happen massive environmental pollution generate but because of fusion experiment those fusion experiment we will perform under this reactor those fusion reactor will perform under this reactor this is called iter reactor okay for power generation so we are going to make it successful here only one one disadvantage in the case of fusion rea fusion reaction you know it is uncontrolled reaction but don't worry guys we will try to control it and recently you know very well guys like china made the artificial sun in 2016 it was not a news but i'm 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 making this all the all the lessons on 2022 so i can tell you like in 2021 okay there was a news like china made the artificial sun an artificial sun made video okay one of the one of the current update as a name of east i have uploaded on the youtube session so you go and check it guys so the answer d is right question number 12 this 12 consider the following statement the international solar alliance international solar alliance was launched at the un united nation climate change conference in 2015 I can repeat the International Solar Alliance (ISA) (ISA) was launched at the United Nations Climate Change Conference 2015. Definitely right, guys, because it was it was a COP21. 
it was a cop 21 that was running in paris in paris and here there was a there was a launch there was a launch of it even it came forth later on but launching date was this okay the lines include all the member countries of united nation no guys not all member of united nation in that time there was total 120 121 country were the signatory member there guys all un member is around 198 around roughly okay so that is the wrong here that is wrong here only one and one statement is right here next question number 13 next question number 13 what is the question number 13 regarding digi locker digi locker means digital locker okay uh, digital locker you should be also very clear it is a current affairs based question in 2016 okay digital locker introduced that time under the digital india concepts uh, regarding digi locker sometimes see in the news which of the following statement is oblique are correct one part it is a digital locker system offered by the government and the digital india program i spoken you under digital india program it brought this is right it allows you to access your e-documents irrespective of your physical location. You people also can guess very easily. It is also very easy, easy question that UPSC make in 2016. Question number 14 guys, actually in 2015, September 2015, September 2015, ISRO launched one of the satellites called AstroSat. Okay, AstroSat. The UPSC made the question with reference to AstroSat at the Astronomical Observatory. That is called as a Multi-Wavelength Observatory, MWO, as an Astronomical Observatory launched by India. Which of the following statement is oblique are correct? See guys, the question is other than USA, Russia, India is the only country. No guys, India stand the fifth position in the world. US, Russia, Japan and European Union. Two more country, European Union. Two more country. After these four, India is the fifth rank. So this statement is wrong. Associate is 2000 kilogram, definitely no, it is a one, it was 1513 kilogram. Place in the orbit at 1650, no, 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 it's a 650 kilometer height. 650 kilometer height is a Leo orbit. So definitely it's a, uh, both two statements is a factual statement. The option D is right. Neither one, nor two, both, both wrong. Question number 15, guys. Actually, I hope you people know very well. Okay, that Mangalyan, Mangalyan, it launched on the 5th November 2013. Okay, 2013. Okay, so that was the question in 2013. It's an important question that UPSC made in 2016. It's not a current affairs based. Mangalyan launched by ISRO, that is okay, right? Is also called as a Mars orbiter mission. I hope you know very well. Yes, sir, it is also called as a MOM Mars orbiter mission. Second, made India the second country to have a spacecraft orbit the Mars after USA. No, guys, US, Russia, and European Union. India is the fourth country here. Okay, India is the fourth country. So definitely the statement is wrong. The fir uh, first statement is right, second statement is wrong. It made India the only country to be successful in making spacecraft orbit the Mars in its very first attempt. Definitely it is right, guys. Okay, in the first time India made the history, India become successful. But the other country like US, Russia, European Union, those tried before India, they, they have done their own trial more than one time. So here the one and third statement is right. Question number 16 with reference to Li Fi. <clears throat> Question number 16 with reference to Li Fi. Recently in the news, which of the following statement correct? Li Fi is also called as a light fidelity. Okay. And I spoken you guys, this is the question UPSC also has in 2020 prelims. Li-Fi is also called as a visible light communication. I hope you remember. It is also called as a visible light communication. The same question you will see that UPSC also made in your paper in 2020. Either you call Li-Fi a visible light communication. In 2016, question based on Li-Fi. In 2020, question and in place of Li-Fi, they use the term as a visible light. The question repeated. This question repeated further after five years in the examination, 2020. So which of the following statement correct regarding the Li-Fi? One, it uses the light as a medium for the high speed data transmission. Definitely guys, Li-Fi never use Never use the microwave and the radio waves, those we are using everywhere in the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and all. Here it is used the visible light. The light means visible light, this is right. Light means what? Light means visible light, this is right. One part. It's right. It is a wireless technology in several times faster than the Wi-Fi. Definitely that is several times. And here I spoken in the class when I mentioned in the book 224 Gbps. This is the this is I'm telling you the limit which is possible in the case of Wi-Fi never go this much of 224. So definitely the both two statement right guys, both one and two. Question number 17, one of the one of the scheme based question UPSC has the Uday. Which of the following is the purpose of Uday scheme of the government? Actually, Uday is what? Ujjwal Discom Assurance Yojana. It is a Ujjwal Discom Assurance Yojana. This is called Ujjwal Discom Assurance Yojana. Okay. Discom is the distribution companies. Actually, you know, there is a lot of the companies are working. Those are going to purchase the electricity from the government platform and they are selling to you people guys. Actually, the, these all the distribution companies, most of them, they were getting lost. A lot of the loss, a lot of the loss. Up government motive is to provide 24 into 7 power supply. How 24 into 7 power supply is possible? 
definitely not possible reason the distribution company is having a massive losses and that is the reason Uda scream brought there that whatever the financial losses they have they happen finally they will provide the help to so under the Uda scheme we, we people wanted to provide a financial turn around uh, turn around to all the distribution company those even having a losses and they, they, they further they will try to distribute the power supply the 17 the D option is right 18 question that UPSC has from the OPCW with reference to organization for the provision of chemical women this 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 concept I have mentioned in the defense technology chapter in my book guys whenever you read the book you will get it with reference to organization for the provision of chemical weapons OPCW consider the following statement one it is an organization of European Union in working relation to NATO and WHO no it is a what it is a kind of independent body it is totally independent body there is no control of any other thing so it is an organization of European Union in the working relation with NATO and WHO no guys it is independent so this is totally wrong it monitors the chemical industry to prevent new weapons for emerging definitely guys chemical chemical industries can develop some of the harmful chemical those harmful chemical can be used as a weapons so definitely it watch it watch so this is right it monitor it watch neither the chemical industry can misuse it uh, it provide the assistance well, this chemical industry can sell this type of chemical to the any country that can neither any other country can use as a as a as a as a chemical weapons on the enemy nations third questions yeah third statement it provide assistance and production to the state against the chemical weapon threat definitely guys if any of the countries if in having a problem that any of the enemy country can drop the chemical weapons so don't worry here in these cases opcw will work and try to save you people against the against the chemical weapon so that's why here the second and third statement is right but remember no control of nato and who it is entirely independent body so these are the these all were the question paper of 2016 i hope you understood guys and now again i'm repeating my words this is the telegram channel link that i'll request to all of you especially i'm requesting to all of you kindly connect with this guys for the entire pdf and save your time guys okay and apart of video links i also share here for the entire videos and current updates an academy profile available here this is the an academy profile where my all the courses are available if you want my live courses yeah overall you want my plus close plus courses uh, iconic substitutions yeah part of this free special classes okay so free special classes also available here a lot of the science based many many of the subjects i'm covering here free of cost for everyone so for all the people those literally want to connect with me and have a trust on me connect here guys it will be really very beneficial to all of you my code is Ravi UPSC during joining any course if you use the Ravi UPSC you will get extra 10% discount the best ever best I'll tell you that an academy is providing you the course iconic substitution if you join so what is the beauty of iconic substitution I'm telling you live mentorship you can, you can get it a tutor will connect with you guys for your all the queries here and question answer practices you can do study planning if any kind of difficulty you happen how to plan what to do everything you can uh, you can access the iconic substitution all the facilities and a part of open house with the educators with me type of faculties you can connect all the teachers like me and all the faculties those are taking the class on academy you people have opportunity to connect here an academy based courses if you want guys the general study courses the rate or the prices of the courses if you guys will use a Ravi UPSC Ravi UPSC is my code whenever you use it I either plus the iconic subscription you are taking you will get the extra 10% discount not only for the general studies even a, a part of the optional courses you will also get the extra 10% discount if you are using the apply code as a Ravi UPSC you people remember it it's a best for all of you guys that 0% DMI benefits okay loan facilities are available of course zero percent AMI if you have any problem to have financial crunch and all that's the best that UPS uh, for UPSC the loan facility and academy is also providing you and it's a great news for all of you guys and I am very sure you will be literally very very happy and very surprised like an academy store is open now in Delhi right now and the place is the old Ajinda Nagar near Metropolar 121 here we all the faculties are available for your queries okay if you want yeah, we all faculties have our slots on that basis of uh, slots according to we all faculty those are present there you can come connect and discuss with all the queries so it's a is rating of an academy that you can see as our learners lovers what make us different everything you can see on the scene and the best part of 50,000 plus people enrolled in our test series it is a huge and huge number in 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 Indian history I can tell you one of them so printed comprehensive notes we are providing at make us different 20,000 plus question practice session MCQs live mentorship everything available on the academy guys and the last I'll tell you guys my science and technology environment courses are already running now the one session of science and technology is over the new the first new and uh, first session of environment is running now for 2020 2022 
So my comprehensive course Science and Ecology available on the plus now running now during joining any courses Ravi UPS is the code that you will use it and the last I will tell you guys uh, subscribe this channel and for the PDF you go on the telegram and don't forget to like and share this video to your friends also. So thank you everyone meet you soon in the next video with some new other topics and I hope this whole uh, information those I am connecting with all of you it will be really beneficial to everyone and will help you in your selection guys. So thank you everyone God bless you.